Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel. And of course, as we continue with um, the look at the Windows Security app in Windows 10, November 2019 update, we of course look at now the App and Browser Control tab. This has several settings. And of course, sometimes you might want to change these settings for some reason. Uh, first setting at the top of this uh, in the app and browser control is check apps and files. Uh, this has refers to what it's called smart screen. Smart screen actually has kind of a list of known files and um, also a way of actually examining files and things you download, uh, apps and programs you download to warn you if something might be bad. Now, it doesn't mean it is. Uh, Well-known software will go through without a problem. And sometimes you download it. It happens to me. I have some specific apps that I download that are perfectly okay, but are not what usual, uh, what people usually download. And sometimes it will warn me. So this is a way of telling you, you know, what you're downloading now might be a problem. That app that you actually have here might not be okay and of course once you have that um, happening you can actually either say well okay well I'll, I'll you know I won't use it or you can actually say if you know that it's a good app simply uh, you know click the oh don't warn me about this it's okay I'm you know I know it's okay it's a way of protecting you against malicious apps that you might be downloading once again it doesn't always warn you correctly it sometimes will tell you well you know, this looks bad, but in reality, it's still good. So that's why you might want to check out exactly what's happening. In cases where somebody else is using the PC and you're afraid they might download these apps or download bad things, instead of warn, you can actually put the little, um, you know, block instead of warn. What does that change is that instead of warning you, oh, what you're doing now is bad, um, it's just blocks and will prevent anything from happening. So if you have more than one pe but one person using the PC and you're afraid, well, maybe it's not a bad idea to actually block to make sure that uh, whatever they do doesn't infect you, doesn't do anything bad or harm your PC. Then you have smart screen for Microsoft Edge. The smart screen for Microsoft Edge is simply uh, basically the same kind of, um, of of check that the apps and files actually have, but this time within the browser itself. Before even downloading it to your PC and you know having it on your hard drive, it's immediately gonna you know in a download of an app or a program tell you, well this might not be a good idea and so on. Once again, same options are available. You can just block, or you can warn. And remember, once again, this does not mean that it's bad. It happens from time to time with perfectly okay apps that it's just going to warn you, oh, this looks bad, simply because of it doesn't know what it is, or sometimes just the way that the uh, name or the, the, the app looks. Smart screen for Microsoft Store apps is the same thing. This time around, it's Microsoft Store, which already has an embedded check so technically we shouldn't have too much problem with the store apps but we've known in the past that it sometimes is a problem then you have options for isolated browsing if you have windows 10 pro or um, enterprise there's something called the windows defender application guard what that does is actually take your browsing and sandbox the browsing that means it actually puts it in a jail so that means that you can't really um, do anything or you can't really uh, have um, you know anything bad happen because it all happens within a, a, a jail, if you want it. It's inside a virtualized environment where it just can't infect around you. So this is a possibility. It does not exist on Windows 10 Home, unfortunately. And then there's exploit protection at the bottom which is simply what's built in to protect against attacks, against malware, against all sorts of bad things that could happen. And of course, there are settings for all of these. We will be looking at the settings for the exploit protection settings and all of that in a separate video. 
and uh, it's mostly to go over the app uh, quickly right now and then go more into the details of everything within the Windows Security app. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and hope you enjoyed this look at the Windows Security app in the Windows 10.